Hey YouTube! So, as you could tell from my last video I posted, a while back I set out on a quest to design three starter fake mon in the styles of grass, water, and fire. Last week it was the fire starter, Tatklava. This week it's the water starter, Nesby. So as you guys can see, I did base it off of the cuttlefish, but <laughs> I decided to give it a mustache. And that wasn't just my idea. My good friend Dae Jin, who provided a lot of good feedback in designing this fake mon, made the recommendation to get this mon a mustache. And <laughs> it works really well, you know? Uh, I, you know, you don't typically see tendrils being, uh, you know, used as a, a facial accessory to sprout a very <laughs> charming looking mustache, but this little guy pulls it off pretty well. But this is Mesby, the cuttlefish perk. Technically, fake <laughs> I never remember. And the theme here is actually based on uh, Lovecraftian uh, lore. Uh, my my buddy Dejin is, uh, you know, he's, a, I, to my knowledge, a pretty uh, well practiced D and D player. And uh, he decided, hey, it'd be really cool to have a mon based on Cthulhu. And like I said, he just went for it. Uh, there, this mon went through several incarnations. I just, it's, it's, it was hard to create the mon uh, and not just have it look like just your ordinary cuttlefish, which is also the reason why I gave it a mustache. It just really gives it that, you know, <laughs> that that, okay, this is a little monster, but it can clearly be your friend vibe, and not just, okay, this is clearly just an enemy in the real world. Um, with that, I, let's get into watching this get 3D printed. As I said before, I don't really use water starters too often. In fact, uh, in only really two games ever did I actually use the water starter. Um, which was uh, Napoleon and Samurai, I think. That's, that's but those are really the only two water starters that I ever actually used in the game series of Pokemon. But I really do like the way this little guy came out. Um, something to note was that the little tendrils did not have enough contact with the base to stay on the base when I was removing supports. But more or less, it came out pretty well. And here he is. Mesby. And uh, yeah, came out just like a 3D model did. You may be noticing that there's some uh, tack on here. Well, that's because I still needed the mod to be able to stand up. Uh, the tack is holding it in place, but I am going to put some hot glue down to really keep it down in one spot. But I do love the way this came out. You know, I feel like the sizing is perfect. It's not really the size of a fake mon you'd get in real life, but let's face it, if I were doing that, my 3D printer would be going for a long time. But these little guys, as I said, are inspired by Cthulhu and Cuttlefish and a mustache thrown in for good flair. And the sizing, as compared to Tadplava, yeah. That works. I feel like the two of these are have enough of a common size to where if they were on the battlefield, red team, blue team, ah, you know, it'd probably look pretty realistic. Um, a, an interesting thing about Mesby is it's not just a water starter, it's a water psychic. Um, the other ones will have uh, dual typings, but Mesby is the only one in this line that starts off with two. Uh, I did that because I thought uh, this little creature walking around on just two little legs would have been a little odd, considering cuttlefish don't walk on land. It's not really a thing. So, it uses its psychic power to just barely float. Oh, just barely float above the surface. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for this water starter. I really don't have any like uh, lore like I, I said last time, but um... I imagine that these little guys would probably, well, they'd probably seek out trainers that were, you know, ooh, more uh, uh, more of the smart types, you know. Uh, 
we saw from the Pokemon anime that um, Ash's, I believe, it's, uh, his Greninja, uh, when it was in its you know baby form, it had gone through several different trainers, but just didn't really vibe with them. Um, and I kind of like that for this. These Mons, they really vibe more with the smart types, you know, people who are uh, very knowledgeable and give off just that higher IQ aura. And you kind of have to be a smart type in order to really train these. Because while they are psychic types, they do fall into that category of having uh, a higher uh, way of thinking. And just like dealing with a person who has a higher way of thinking, you'd need to be able to conversate and communicate with them uh, on a regular basis that could keep up with their personality, in this case being really smart. Uh, which isn't a really a, a personality, much less just a personality trait. So, but I do love the way it came out. Nesby, everybody. Alrighty, so that wraps it up. Uh, as always, I I thank you all for being here. Uh, I still have a Patreon up, so if you want to see more fake mon and more props, uh, consider supporting the channel on Patreon. And please like, subscribe, and comment. I really like the channel to grow. We're still in the embryonic phase, but I would really love to do this full time. But thank you so much for tuning in. All right, guys, next week we start the grass starter, and I'm super hyped. Don't get me wrong, I rock Tad Plava every day of the week, and <laughs> Mesby here is absolutely awesome, but <laughs> I do have a soft spot for the grass starter, which will be printed in a beautiful green. All right, guys. Catch you later. Come along, Mesby. Let's go play chess. <laughs>